सो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल लर्न विद गिग्स इन दिस वीडियो आई विल डिस्कस विद यू फाइव फ्री डेटा सेट्स दैट यू कैन यूज फॉर योर सेल्फ एंड प्रैक्टिस एज पावर बी आई प्रोजेक्ट एंड दस यू कैन बिल्ड योर पावर बी आई प्रोजेक्ट पोर्टफोलियो दिस वॉज द मोस्ट आस्ट क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम मी एट हाउ टू प्रैक्टिस प्रोजेक्ट यूजिंग फ्री डेटा सेट्स एंड सो ऑन योर डिमांड आई हैव मेड दिस वीडियो एंड आई होप इट विल बी हेल्पफुल and you will be benefited from it a lot okay so do provide your feedback in the comment box about this video and let me know what you want next okay so let's start the video and before that if you are new to the channel then do subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated with all the coming videos okay so the first free data set that, that you can use is this supermarket sales okay so it contains historical record of sales data in three different supermarkets okay so don't worry i will provide the link to you to go to this platform or to this interface okay so what you have to do this is the website of kegel okay as you can see here it is kegel and what you have to do you have to make your account here so when you will click on the link it will ask you to register or sign in so first of all you have to register okay with your email id or gmail id okay once you register then only you will be able to download the data set download the file that is there attached here okay so please register first and then download the data set okay so as i have told this is the historical record of three different supermarkets so this is something about the data set that is present over here what all columns are there okay as you can see here and this is the file this is the csv file that they have provided for practice okay so this from here you can download it and from here also you can download it so both the options are there okay so once you have downloaded it so i have already downloaded it in my local so i will uh, open it in my power bi uh query editor okay so so the same uh, file that is supermarket sales i have opened it after downloading it from there okay so the same thing you have to do so this is a sales fact table okay so they have provided you a fact table now it's your duty to create dimension tables out of these fact tables that we call as uh, uh, transitional dimensions so you have to create those tables and then make a power bi model on top of it so currently you only have the fact table so how to create some dimension tables out of this fact table so and this is also a question that is mostly asked in the power bi interviews said so that if you have been provided a sales fact table so how will you create your model on top on top of that so the same answer you have to give that we have to create or take out dimensions from that fact table and create separately dimension tables and then build our uh model okay so i will give you few uh, like one or two example how we can do that so as you can see here this is the uh, this is a fact table and we have invoice id we have branch information city information customer type gender product line all this information unit price quantity tax okay date time payment okay gross margin gross income rating all this information is uh, is, is being given to us so out of this you can uh, you can create a branch dimension table for which what you have to do you have to click on this and duplicate it first okay i have duplicated it i will name it as branch table okay branch table branch dimension table and what i will do here i will click on this branch and remove other columns okay after doing that i will do a right click on this column and remove the duplicates so once you have removed the duplicates now it will act as a branch dimension table for you and this and this you can connect to the sales fact table okay so this is one branch table after that what you can do you can create a city information like the territory information territory dimension table so for what you have to do again you have to go there duplicate it okay after duplicating it i will rename it to uh, uh, city information okay city dimension table for that what i have to do i will go to the city table and uh, remove other columns the same way that i have done for branch and then i will remove the duplicates see so three different cities are there okay so this is a, so this is your city dimension table okay and this is our main sales fact tables i will rename it to sales okay so in this way you can create your different dimension tables for example if you have to create more you can create a uh, product line dimension table with this product line uh, column okay and other uh, tables also like you have you have been provided date and time also so you can create a calendar table also on top of it so once you have created all those tables just do close and apply and build your model okay so i have told all these things because i wanted to tell you how you have to proceed with the data set okay now i hope it is clear to you now how you can go ahead and download the data set and create your own data model so if i go to the data modeling layer so you can see here 
this is my sales table this is my branch table and there is my city table okay so as you can see here this is connected to sales fact table using one to many through city column this is connected to sales fact table using branch column one to many okay so one to many relationship is there okay that is what is required so in this way you will be having more dimensions and you will create your complete data model and on top of this you can create your power bi reports whatever number of pages you want you can create it's your creativity on top of this data model what all things you can do in your calculations what all dax measures what all dax functions you can use to create and visualize things on this using this free data set so i hope this is clear to you how you can proceed with this data set so this is the first free data set now moving on to the second one so this is the walmart recruiting stores sales forecasting so as you can see here you are provided with the historical sales data for 45 walmart stores located in different regions okay and each store contains a number of departments and you are tasked with pre predicting the department wide wise sales for each store okay so you will be provided with different csv files like store csv train csv test csv feature csv okay so all those things you can download it so all those things you can download it from here see all the files are here so download all all the files will be downloaded and upon your create creativity you can then create a report on top of it because they also have not provided the requirement okay so this is the second data set that you can uh, you should practice and build your and include it in your project power bi project portfolio okay now moving on to the next one so this is the netflix movies and tv shows data set okay so here they will provide about the data set and here the most important thing is they have also provided what what all interesting tasks or ideas that you have to do so these are the four things that you can perform or you can create individual reports means you can create four pages in this report including all these interesting tasks ideas into those pages okay so this is good about this uh, data set and here same you have to download it from here after registering it on this website okay so i hope it is clear to you now moving on to the next one so this is top 50 fast food chains in usa okay so this is the one that you should definitely practice it out okay about the data set it is clearly given here and then you can download the file that is available here okay you can download it from here and create your report on top of it okay here also they don't have provided the uh, tasks that you should do but yeah if you have to practice it you can download it and on top of it you can create the reports with your own creativity okay so this is the fourth one that you can practice now moving on to the fifth one so this is real or fake jo job posting prediction data set okay so this data set contains 18000 job predictions out of which about 800 are fake so this consist of both textual information and meta information about the jobs okay so here also they have provided what all things you can do okay so this is also very good about this data set you know that you have to do these things in your pages in the report you know that what all things you have to do in the report okay so just download the data set from here and practice and create your own reports see the data sets that i have discussed today these are all different types different varieties of data sets so, so if you will include two or three or all of these projects in your portfolio then your portfolio will be very good and in the technical interview also you will be very confident about your preparation i will provide the links of these five free data sets in my description box of this video so go and check out the link okay and please share the video to all your friends and colleagues whoever are in need of this okay thank you